Well, good morning, everybody, and uh, thank you for coming uh, to this lecture. And uh, thank you, Bev, for inviting me to do this. And uh, last summer, when I got the email inviting me to do this, I responded, yeah, sure, great, I'll do it. And then I thought to myself, how am I going to make this interesting? And what am I going to show everybody that they haven't seen already or that they don't know about? And Joe, everybody who was here for the last lecture has seen everything you need to see, probably. But just, I always like to survey the audience before we start. How many people have ever seen a cyst in an ovary? <laughs> Come on. All right. How many people have seen a mural nodule? And how many people have seen a septation? All right. Good. I'm done. That's all there is to it. All right. So then I thought, well, I've always had the philosophy that if you don't think something is interesting, you probably don't know enough about it. And so I started reading and learning some stuff about it. And then I realized I really didn't know a whole lot about this uh, compared to what's really out there. So I promise you a lecture like nothing you've really seen before. And uh, we're going to go over some interesting stuff here. Uh, and what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to talk about ovarian development. Uh, we're going to talk about the physiology of the ovary, both uh, premenopausal and postmenopausal. We're going to talk about what happens uh, during menopause that uh, makes things change. And yeah, we'll talk about some ultrasound stuff, fluid, ovarian enlargement, cysts, masses. I guess you kind of can't really give a talk about ultrasound of the ovary without at least talking about this. Uh, but we're really going to look at the literature and uh, some of the pitfalls and problems with doing this.